Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new animal figurine review for you or maybe a fantasy animal figurine. Uh, this time I am reviewing the Slyke Eldrador Creatures catalog number 42510. This is the Blizzard Bear with Weapon. So this I had to buy through an online store because I did not find this in the store because it's in an open package where we can touch it and the blizzard bear is holding a weapon. Uh, the weapon is tied to the hand with a little bit of uh, clear rubber band there. But still it's in an open package and I'm not sure it would survive its time in a store. But it certainly does look kind of nice. Looks like a polar bear. So here is the front of the package and a little symbol here this means there's uh, joints the arms move up and down and then it means there's a weapon some sort of ice axe or something so here is the top of the package and it does it could be hanging on a peg in a store, but this one has not been hanging on a peg because it still has that little cardboard there. Here is the bottom of the package. Here is one side of the package. It has information about the German company. The other side of the package has nothing there. And the back it has a nice picture shows the blizzard bear some of the other products available in the Eldred or creatures line here's a picture showing the conflict between the four factions this is an older package that had four factions at the time later they add a picture of a gorilla hanging here for a jungle faction but that's later so the four factions so far are the water faction the ice faction the fire faction and the stone faction so in just a moment I will take this out of the package and review the figure itself. Here is the blizzard bear with weapon. Looks like a pretty nice figurine out of the package there. Um, I bought this through an online store in 2021 or early 2022 and according to the stamp on the bottom of the foot there it was first molded in 2019. So let's take a look at the dimensions of this figurine. Now based on just the feet and the, the snout, it's about two and three quarter inches long. But if we stretch out the arms here, that makes it a little longer. So it's about three and three quarter inches long at the longest point. At the widest point to the arms and the hands there, it's about three and three quarter inches wide. And then at the highest point, it's a little more than four and three quarter inches tall to the head there. Maybe a little taller with the hand. Um, could be maybe about five and a half to five and three quarter inches tall. So nicely sized figurine. So it comes with a weapon. Here's the weapon, some kind of ice axe or something and it's made out of a clear plastic. I've removed the rubber band on the hand that was holding the weapon in place so we can simply pull it out. So it looks pretty nice there. Nice clear plastic and seems pretty sturdy. We could probably bend it but I'm not going to try. So it snaps into the hand here. This is the only hand that can hold it. This other hand seems to have turned into an ice claw of some kind. I think this plastic is the same as the weapon. But it looks like they've added this or glued this piece of plastic into the arm there. Looks like two separate pieces and it feels like there's a little seam in there. And then there's some more of this clear plastic on the torso of the bear. Maybe creating some kind of armor. So the rest of this I think is a different kind of plastic. And it's been nicely sculpted where we have some fur texture all over it. And 
nice cloth on the feet there so it's nicely painted so I'll snap the weapon back in the hand there and there we go so this has uh, two points of articulation it's just the arms we can move those around so it's almost like an action figure rather than a figurine very nicely sculpted mouth and teeth there the tongue and it's nicely painted too so I'm happy about the details there it looks like if we look at the nose there it looks like uh, either there's probably not enough black paint to paint the nose there so maybe they missed that well we can just say this bear has a bit of snow on the nose but um, that's probably not very realistic and if we look at the eyes it seems like I'm not sure if the paint has been very clearly applied there but that's not exactly the most important part of the bear so they did a nice job with the teeth looks like the paint is um, nicely applied there so, yeah, I like the uh, texturing throughout the body seems like some extra hair or fur on the back but sculpted to be almost like spikes back here So, the feet, not a whole lot of detailing down here, but that's all right. We're going to keep this standing all the time. And I'm very happy that this stands stably. It's not wobbly. Even with the arms out, and it's not wobbly. So, I prefer to buy these in the store to test them, but the way this was packaged, it would be pretty difficult to test it to make sure it stands stably. So, I'm very happy that it stands stably. It, that way I can display it on a shelf or put it in a diorama. So, I think the Eldrador Creatures is a pretty nice line of fantasy type animals with some interesting uh, weapons and designs so and I enjoy having this it's a nice addition to the collection so I'm pretty happy with it uh, thank you for watching my review remember to like the video leave a comment and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews I'll see you next time goodbye everyone